So today with us we have uh, Miss Tejal, one of the uh, women who have made her name in the domestic circuit of cricket. And how did your journey start, Tejal, in the field of cricket? I started with gully cricket. I, I I used to cricket with my some society friends. So later on, hmm. there was one inter-school tournament organized by District Association for Girls. So I just participated in that tournament for fun because I used to love playing cricket. And yeah. then I I I was used to play with the pace of boys and that kind of cricket, so yeah. it was quite easier for me to perform there and score runs. So after yeah. that, like they picked me up from there. Then I I was among uh, top thirty players for our state in age group cricket. Yeah. So then yeah. Uh, then there were two three selectors and ex India players and the like some female. Cricketers who yeah. who know game well, so they just came to my dad and suggested that I I guess she she have something, so you should be uh, supporting her and you can send her to like ground and to play proper leather ball. So I guess that's how it started. And before you made it to India A, then what all teams and levels did you have to qualify, and what did you like play before your India A selection? Yeah, uh, so local cricket start from inter district tournament. After that, we have to uh, represent our state team, which is my team is Maharashtra. So there are five state, uh, five zones in India. So Maharashtra belongs in West Zone. So yeah. earlier they used to have interzonal tournament. So we have to play for West Zone. Then yeah. from there, you if you perform well, you get picked in Challengers Trophy, which is a uh, top thirty nine players from India. So they select, and uh, that is India Red, Blue, Green. So we have to be part of that team. And when you perform there, you get picked yeah. for India. And, yeah, and then after and that, and and yeah. and Tejal, your uh, cricket season is going to start off quite soon. So what are the yeah. practices and drills which are going on at the moment? Yeah. So basically, when it's off season, I work more on my technical skills and. Uh, some uh, fitness aspects. Uh, then later on, now this is my pre-season. Now you can say season is starting uh, next month. So my plan slightly changes and the skill work changes into tactical work, which can be mental preparation or you can say match practice or uh, every tactical and mental aspect. How can I apply myself and more related to that stuff? And fitness, uh, fitness, the like what you can say ratio of fitness increases as, as practice. Uh, I can say it's like I hardly practice for forty forty five minutes, just quality practice and quite few balls. So I can work more on my fitness, uh, which help, which will help me during my season to maintain my strength and everything. So this is how it works. And Tejal, three very quick questions I want to ask you now. So who is your inspiration in the cricketing world, and why? Why did you choose that idol? Uh, actually, very honestly speaking, I have. Two people like when you ask this question, I have two people in my mind. One is M S Dhoni, our captain, cool. Uh, I guess the qualities I can learn from them, uh, from him, is like uh, his his uh, thinking pattern, how he strategizes and how he apply. He can read game very well. And other than that, I love A B De Villiers because I guess as a batsman, he knows how to create angles and how he can he react to the ball. And the best part about about both of them, what I have heard and when I met them was. They are not just good athletes, but they are very good individuals as well. So it's like they are very down to earth, and you can uh, speak with them, and communication is quite easier with them. So I guess it's important for me to be a good player as well as good person. So I guess in that matter, I respect both of them. Okay, and uh, another very quick question is that who is the most uh, um, annoying and very uh, lazy and mischievous cricketer uh, in your team? I'm saying annoying, but mischievous. Yes, there are quite few, and I guess uh, I'm one of them. Cause uh, you know, when we sit in bus, we are always the backbenchers who who used to uh, listen to various types of song and who used to have fun and do some crazy stuff when we are off the field. So I guess yes, I would say definitely I'm one of them. There are uh, one two friends of mine, which is Devika Vijayan in Team Maharashtra. There are we call a squad. So there are Mukta Magare and Utkarsh Pawar in it. So yeah, there are quite few, but We we have uh, very crazy people around. Uh, we are very crazy people when you are off the field. So yeah. Uh, one last question, Dejal. Who uh, any advice for the budding uh, cricketers and especially women who want to pursue their careers into yeah. the field of cricket? Definitely. Like uh, I would like to say, like since uh, I started playing, growing. So anyone is looking to take this sport as a profession, 
you just yourself uh, you just need to trust the process or there are uh, sometimes when things are not going to uh, your way or you can say there are quite time you are not to do some things but at that point you just need to push yourself and get through that patch because i guess that process is important and it will definitely help you grow as a person because at the end it's not not just about it it's about how you uh, how you are off the field and how you are as a human being i guess so i guess that matters the most so just enjoy this journey make make new friends and just have fun because these days won't come back uh, tejal can you please yeah, tell okay. us about so, some memorable performances definitely like uh, first uh, uh episode that came into my my mind was uh, when we were playing under 19 tournament we, like around 200 was a big target in women's cricket and especially for age group so at that time we had like amazing team like smriti me devika we were all playing together so in that particular match we were needed some 70 80 around runs in 40 45 50 balls and i remember uh, getting like i batted like at you know when like i scored 50 were like on that particular match it was a uh, knockout like semi final match that was so i guess those runs and like to get, get that that you help your team to then that i i scored 148 runs in senior women's one day uh, the second one which is like uh, uh, close to my heart is like i scored 148 run versus haryana because i remember my state team backed me to open and i went i just went in and Uh, i just smashed ball everywhere and, and i remember that i had one like that i had fun because i was just uh, reacting to the ball and enjoying that process so i guess these two are winning something which i will always remember thank you so much tejal for sharing your experience and i wish you all the very best for your upcoming season and uh, all luck to you and especially to the whole women team yes thank you so much thank you and may you make all these memorable innings day by day as you play i would love to thank you so much thank you thank you okay. bye